All right, folks, once again, this is live, so just as a reminder, some of the images here may not be suitable for all audiences since this is a live stream here right now. Anything can possibly happen. You're watching this all unfold live right now on the Fox 10 News Now stream, Facebook Live as well. Police say this bank robbery suspect started out in Avondale. We're, we're working to get you a location here right now in Phoenix. Where, but you can see he is on the median right now. This is southbound 7th Avenue right now. Once again, we appreciate everybody watching right now on our Facebook Live as well as Fox10Phoenix.com. Warning that this is a very fluid situation where anything can happen, so just keep that in mind. This is a police say this bank robbery suspect started out in Avondale. Continuing to watch this as this unfolds here. See now is the, taking the side roads here was on on I-10 then got off here. So we're going to continue to watch here with you. We have a police chase active right now in the valley. You're watching this all unfold live. A lot of times these these suspects want to stay near an area or a neighborhood that they are familiar with and also comfortable with where they might know some of the areas where to dump out at. Now I'm joined by our very own Ron Hoon, where uh, we are watching this police chase all unfold. We, we just got the images about three minutes ago. Yeah, we'd gotten the uh, the word a few minutes earlier, so we uh, scrambled Sky Fox. Oh. Is he slowing down? It in looked of that like house? he was, but yeah. uh, you know, I, so, I was saying earlier, a lot of these times these suspects want to stay in a neighborhood that they're familiar with. That's a good point. You know, sometimes you see these LA chases, and they drive. Oh, oh look at this! What is this? An alley now? Okay, going back through an alley, which easily could just be sort of a getaway tactic on his part. Sure. You know, a lot of these times, these suspects oh, are also hold on, to, here we go. Yep, yeah, we can have a bailout happening. here. Oh. Reversing. What do you want to bet? He saw somebody. Yeah, that was trying to block it out, yep. but let's see here. Well, hopefully they'll have him blocked on both ends. Yeah. Look at this lady here. Yeah, see, it's never, you know, and the scary thing is for, for pedestrians, you just don't know what the, what this person is going to, right. to do. What? Now it's going forward okay, again. Okay, well, now that, 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 was, made no a, that sense. was an access point for him. That made absolutely, what that wow. Doing? This is interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. Have some debris here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy's making no sense. No sense whatsoever. Forward, backwards. I mean, that's tough. It's tough just backing out a car at normal speed, oh, let yeah. alone the rate of speed this guy's doing it at. Still not quite sure why he, they don't have him blocked off uh, on both ends. Unless it is possible, maybe that's what he's seeing. You know, our chopper shot is so tight that we can't uh, see this at that moment. Can't yeah, be right. sure about that. Sort of seems like he's trying to make up his mind. Very interesting. You know, next. a lot of the times these people would have bailed by now. It's very mm -hmm. confusing situation here. Yeah, so uh, in that area around 7th Avenue and Rosier. Oh, dumped something. Threw out, oh, okay, that's going to work great. He, yeah, he, nobody he, saw that. Nobody, <laughs> no, him, nobody saw him throw the evidence out. Oh, look at this. What is that? That's the lady now. Oh, you know what that could have been? That could have been... Uh, Closing the gate. He might have he knew the person, too. Yes, it kind of looked that way. It did. Although, yeah. why did it take him a while to back up, stop? Well, maybe, yeah, maybe he, he, he blew past it, then, you know, went back and couldn't, you know? At that yes. point, you don't know. Wow, that was, I haven't seen that at... No, that, yeah, that, that, that was highly unusual. <laughs> yeah. 
but it did make it look like she was aware of what was going on there because yes. she was getting ready to close that. I mean, we have to assume these guys have cell phones. Oh, absolutely. So if he's maybe communicating with somebody, it wouldn't be a huge shock. And right now, you know, we are live on Fox10Phoenix.com as well as our Facebook page. So continuing to watch this right now. Okay, here comes a good cross street. Chambers and Montezuma. So he worked his way through some of those South Phoenix neighborhoods and looks like he may be trying to come up with a new plan now that he apparently got rid of whatever evidence yeah, it could have been it could have been weapons it could have been could have been anything mm -hmm. so we'll see how this one unfolds here but you guys are watching this all unfold live right now and just a reminder that this is live raw images that we're broadcasting to you so viewer discretion is advised mm -hmm. This is, uh, so Montezuma is basically the Third Avenue alignment. It's kind of interesting through that part of uh, South Phoenix, how you go from C uh, Central Avenue west over towards Seventh Avenue. And when you hit Third Avenue, for whatever reason, it turns into Montezuma Street, at least for a little ways. Okay. And we were hearing reports that this was a bank robbery suspect that started out in Avondale. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you are wondering, well, why is suspect fleeing right now? Well, that, that could be the reason why. Mm -hmm. so now we're waiting to see the next move. So he's still pretty close to that same area that he's been uh, kind of operating in over there at, a, at roughly about 7th Avenue and Southern. Rozier would be the halfway street, and we last saw him on Chambers at Montezuma. So uh, pretty much a, exactly about, uh, you know, about two miles south of downtown okay. Phoenix. Some people are wondering, well, why aren't the, the, the police right behind them? Well, when they have the uh, chopper up as well, the police have their chopper up, they could watch them from, from this distance and really, they don't want to scare the suspect into making a violent a crazy move, move yes, and then, right. you know, having innocent people hurt here. So Right. Well, you would surely think that the police would be knocking on the door of the lady who had the back gate oh, yeah. open there. Yeah, that's going to be a... Uh, after the bank heist, or the alleged bank heist. Well, you know, it is it is one of those things as we see him take a turn here. Try to determine if he's... He might have worked his way up to Broadway. Could even be a little further north of there. Um, you know, but so on the one hand, you, uh, you don't put the officers too close behind in order to put, uh, you know, uh, in order to, uh, basically stay away from what could be a potentially dangerous situation. But then on the other hand, you just don't know how erratic this guy's going to get. Cause take a look right there. You can just see he's, he, he starts moving past yes. traffic. On our, most of our arterial streets, for those of you who are uh, joining us who aren't from here in Phoenix, the speed limit is 40 or 45 miles an hour on most of these major streets. And when he is passing some of this traffic that you presume is going about 45, I mean, it looks like he's, he, he's not doing double that, but he's doing well in excess of what some of these other cars are doing. Well, maybe we'll get a cross street here in a second. It looks like he's getting ready to take a left, left turn. Here. He's just kind of going as the lights go by. So I would say that uh, yeah, we're just checking to get you as precise a location as we can. We like to stay tight on these images so that uh, we don't lose track of the driver in a situation like this. Um, you know, if he comes up on another vehicle, and you know, passes the scary it part by. is for, for the other drivers, they don't necessarily know this is, they, they probably just think it's an erratic driver. You know, they don't know this is a suspect that's 
That's a good point. You know, so that's sure. That that's, think about it. Yeah, that's a scary situation because, you know, you're listening to the radio or listening to some music or not listening to anything, and you just see this this SUV coming at you, and you're like, "What is going yeah, on?" I know. I'm gonna get out of that yeah. guy's way. He's in a hurry. So somewhere. Yeah. Uh, boy, he's, he picks up speed he, as he goes through those intersections. Those straightaways. Yeah, he does pick it up. Mm-hmm. And that. Uh, There's he, a pretty good image right there. Yeah. You know, on the, on the Fox 10 News Now stream, we do cover police chases all around the country, but now we're having it right here in our own backyard. That's a good point. I mean, we have are, a lot in L.A. You know, we do have a lot in Southern California, and we seem to get by. It's been many months, uh, many months since we've had a real active police chase like uh, this particular situation. But the guy obviously knows that he's being tracked because oh. he's not going in any particular direction. He's just trying to delay the inevitable. Yeah, they, you know, like, a lot of the times with these suspects, they want to really just, they know eventually they're going to get caught and they just want to really just extend their last moments of freedom. Yes, it's a real good point, Mike. Because they know that there's a chopper ahead of, you know, on top of them. Okay. Oh, he's all the way over to 24th Street, so he's now south. Okay. Of Sky Harbor Airport. So he worked his way quite a bit to the east. The thing about it is, there if you're there at about the 24th Street alignment, he, he, he's not too far away. Is that Broadway? It looks like it might be. Looks like it could be. Yeah. Then he's not going to be too far from gaining access to the I-10 freeway. So maybe he thinks that that's his... That's his getaway to this whole thing. He has to know there are choppers in the sky that are following him. Oh, yes. What'd you say, Melanie? Oh, I'm talking about Steve Brown. All right. Okay, so he was going uh, to change, uh, his, change mind change his mind here. Mm -hmm. And for those of you watching right now, now would probably be the perfect time to either hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. <laughs> that way you'll always be in the know of when we are broadcasting breaking news this time it's happening in Arizona, but we do breaking news all across the country when it happens. Boy, I appreciate getting those alerts, too, because sometimes, uh, especially, you know, needing to stay on top of the news, it's just, it's perfect when you get the alert right there on your phone. I usually have my ringer down, but I look at the phone and I see, okay, there's uh, something going on. And uh, on an everyday basis here on our uh, streaming news channel, there's new information, new stories developing, and they come to you uninterrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't cut into any commercials here at all. We just watch this as hopefully seeing that it'll be a an ending without anybody getting hurt. Yeah. I heard from our assignment desk that the last intersection. Mm -hmm. That was that 24th and baseline, they said. Oh, he was down on baseline. Okay. Well, then if he's still heading east, which it appeared that he decided not to make that left-hand turn, maybe he's uh, headed, uh, he may head all the way to uh, 44th Street or beyond. There is a good look at him right there. That is a good tight shot right there. So this all started as a robbery call, a bank robbery call. And all robberies are treated very seriously here, but the bank robberies, you know, those are also federal crimes. You get the FBI involved and any uh, driver. Now, what is, what's going on with his, uh, with his front windshield there? Something yeah. unusual going on? Yeah, Does he that have a... It almost looks like he has one of those screen. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I see what you're saying there, Ron. Interesting. And you know, when we first started this, about three minutes into the stream, we did see him going through that alley, and dumping something out of the window, and then kept on going. Mm -hmm. Here's a little wider view. He may be getting closer to the I-10 freeway over there. As you work your way past 44th Street, he's going to come up on an intersection here and probably blow right through it, and there you are. Yeah, the scariest part always with these, with these pursuits is when they go through those intersections. Yeah, yeah, that's for darn sure, because we've all seen those videos all where right, something well, goes horribly wrong. And we're getting an update from our assignment desk related to the pursuit. A person involved is possibly in custody in the area of 57th Avenue and Thomas. Avondale police say, at this time, I can confirm that we are working a bank robbery. Okay. So it looks like somebody in possibly in connection 
is in custody right now, 57th Avenue and Thomas. Yeah, we're quite a ways away from that yeah. because by my calculations, we're somewhere in that area around 40th Street, 44th Street. Um, PD is asking us to stop describing undercover vehicles. Stop oh. Okay. We haven't been. Okay. But okay. Now it's getting a little uh, traffic here. Let's see. Yeah, what's I was going to say it's going to get real congested the closer you get to the ten. Yeah, and you're right there's at lunchtime that, too. There's that Fry's Electronics. So, you've got the Point Hilton South Mountain uh, just off to the right there, or the Arizona Grand, yes. <laughs> they call it now, uh, and have for several years. But anyway, oh, uh, get in that lane. Yeah, there's a very popular Enchiladas right there popular Mexican restaurant, and he is going to be approaching the tent at any moment. So we will know his intentions on whether or not he plans to try to swoop over into oh. the I-10 freeway. Oh, trying to or, box in a little oh, there, it looked there like. there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this, would you? There we go. Almost. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice. Fit maneuver. Fit look maneuver. at that. Look at that. That was just... That was textbook there. Oh, oh, oh no. wow. Okay, we're going to get right. off of it very quickly. Going to get off right there. So we did see some images that we did not want to see right there. We're going to show you just the 10-day ten, ten right there. As uh, we did see <clears throat> very active situation there. Yeah. And we're going to continue to monitor this for you right now. We just had to put our slate up for just a moment as we did see some images there that very graphic. Well... All right, so we are back here live now. And you can see a lot of uh, bullet holes there. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that all of that unfolded right at a, almost at the access point to the I-10 freeway. Yes. And so what you didn't want to see was this guy then getting access to the 10. That could have gone on for a long time. Yeah, so they did the, they, they, it was, that was a textbook pit maneuver, though. Yes. I mean, that was a really solid, solid job by the police there in those unmarked vehicles. Yeah, you see a lot of officers now on scene as this uh, situation has come to an end. We believe it may very well be connected to this bank robbery. There was a confirmation that Avondale Police, which is many, many miles away from where this all came to an end, I'd put it a good 15 miles away, that they did confirm they were working a bank robbery. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that they had one suspect in custody. We watched this. This guy unloaded okay. something, it appeared, yeah, in a, in a, at uh, a home in a South Phoenix neighborhood there at about... Oh, about 3rd Avenue, about Montezuma and Chambers, so about 3rd Avenue and, and Southern. A lot of police officers on oh, yes. hand here. And, you know, what they, a lot of people were saying, well, why aren't there any police following behind? Well, mm -hmm. that just shows you how fast they came here. They were following, you know, you just don't know sometimes. Yeah. So we picked this up, what, about 12.15, I'd say, Yeah, about 12.15, huh? and, mm -hmm. we and we were we had it once they finally, uh, our Sky Fox was able to catch up. And that was a, uh, yeah, he was just about to get on that 10. Yep, there's that 